Hi, this is Janet from the West End Library in Laurelton, Pennsylvania, and this is my monthly book review. This month, I am choosing to do Jan Brett, The Easter Egg. For younger readers and older readers alike, if you have never read any of Jan Brett's books, please take the time to do so. Although my granddaughter is way too old to be reading Jan Brett's work, I had purchased a copy of The Easter Egg years ago and it remains a part of my granddaughter's library. Not only are the stories delightful, but the illustrations are ones that you will look at over and over again and will never grow tired of. They are so incredibly beautiful, vibrant, and illustrate ideas of the story that most of us wouldn't even think of illustrating. The Easter Egg is definitely one of the books that you will continually return to. Each time I look at the illustrations, I notice something new. The story is so touching and such an original way to bring the, East, the idea of the Easter egg to life. The story revolves around the annual Easter egg decorating competition in the wild bunny rabbit genre. There are so many different ways of decorating an Easter egg that even in our everyday lives, ideas that are shown can be incorporated in this annual tradition which is celebrated in a lot of homes worldwide. The main character of this story is Hoppy and this will be his first year to decorate an Easter egg. He has no idea what he may want to try or even go about beginning such a task. He wants to try and make his way throughout the bunny neighborhood and is a witness to many different artistic renditions of the Easter egg. Each rabbit he visits wants to help Hoppy on his first artistic endeavor and gives him samples of some of the materials they are using to create their own unique decorated egg. This is a huge competition each year among the contestants. The winner of the competition each year gets to ride along with the Easter rabbit and hide the eggs for Easter morning. Hoppy so wants to create an egg and win the contest. As he makes his rounds observing the other bunnies' eggs, he begins to realize that he won't be able to make the most beautiful egg, but instead focus on making, making an egg that he can be proud of. He is sitting in the woods thinking about all of this and something happens. Hoppy is in the woods while all of the other rabbits are spending days and weeks decorating their eggs. When the Easter rabbit comes to judge all of the eggs, he compliments all of the participants on how beautiful their eggs are, but states that the most beautiful one is not there. Into the woods, the Easter rabbit goes and comes back out with Hoppy, a baby robin, and a cracked egg. Can you guess what happened to Hoppy while in the woods? Because of what he experienced, he wins the contest and gets to ride on the wagon with the Easter rabbit and hide the eggs for Easter. Read this delightful story and find out how Hoppy wins. If you enjoyed this book by Jan Brett, I guarantee you will enjoy many of her other books. So read the Easter egg and get started on decorating your special Easter egg. <coughs>